Uh, my name's Zach Lubin. I'm a goalkeeper. I'm from Bozeman, Montana. I've lived around the United States, spent a lot of time in Seattle, Washington, and spent the last year in Sweden. Been playing since before I could remember. Uh, my older sister played, and anything she did, I had to do. So when she went to practice, I went along and kicked the ball around. Always got a half in goal and a half up top. You know, little kids want to score too. Uh, but then some coaches saw me play and they wanted to keep me as a goalkeeper. My strongest asset would be my leadership uh, and then obviously my, my height as a goalkeeper that really helps coming out and winning balls um, in the air. And then leadership, I'm very loud, I'm vocal, and I feel like I always put the team first. My experience with the Sounders was I think, crucial in my development as a pro. Uh, I was coming off a broken hand. Um, I joined the Sounder U23s, they signed me, and then just a few weeks later, the Sounders first team had an injury with one of their goalkeepers. So then I was then called up to the first team and spent the rest of the year with the Sounders first team, training with the professionals, guys who play with their country's national teams and got to know the environment and what it took to be a professional. I have played against Oscar and Gibson uh, in college. We were in the same conference. Um, but none of us have ever really been on the same, I've never been on the same team with any of them. It is very cool, you know, getting to play with guys you've played against and you know it's nice to come into a team with players you know and you have a background and so that really helps build team camaraderie and friendship. What was it like in Sweden? It was, uh, it was honestly just a one of a kind experience. Um, Getting to live in a country where it's a football culture or a soccer culture, you know, everyone lives and breathes soccer um, and it's a gorgeous country. Uh, the experience of promotion relegation is, uh, is something you, I think everyone should experience because you are fighting for something all year. You know, even if you're at the bottom of the table, it's not like, okay, we'll pack it up and pick it up next year. When you're at the bottom of the table, you know, you're fighting for your spot in the league and the same thing every game counts and you know when you're at the top you're not just fighting for a medal you're fighting for the next league which means more money more fans maybe a new stadium um, anything like that pleasantly surprised I mean Tulsa has been great uh, ever since I drove into the city um, to today everyone's been so welcoming the city's nice it's easy to get around um, and I think it definitely has its hidden gems, which I'm, I'm looking forward to enjoying. The team has come together very well, I think. You know, we hang out a lot off the soccer field. You know, we go to dinner, we eat, um, just relax. And I think that's huge, building a team camaraderie in the locker room that when we step out on the field, we're friends and we're gonna battle for each other. And, you know, we wanna build that family type environment. It is nice, you know, everyone wants experience, but also, it's really nice that we do have a lot of young guys who are willing to work and they want to succeed and they want to get to the next level. So, you know, we, everyone really wants to battle for each other um, and I think that'll help us be successful on the field. I do have something to say for the Oklahoma City Energy and, uh, you know, we're coming for them. You know, they think they own Oklahoma, but uh, we want to show them that Tulsa's here. Uh, my message for the fans is just keep supporting us the way they have. I've felt a ton of love, a ton of support from everyone in Tulsa. And, you know, we're going to do everything we can to win games for them. And it, what helps us is the fans being out and having and supporting us.